let's continue down the caddy rabbit hole. Um, this one, I've decided the next one we're going to watch is the demonic world of Disney PS1 games. Um, simply just because, uh, what was it? What is it? Like the old Mickey Mouse thing is supposed to become, uh, public domain, I think. Like next year or something like that. Something like that. I don't know. And it just, I figured, you know, we'll watch this. Of course, of course, everybody's waiting on Disney to like pull some shenanigans to try to like keep it theirs. Yeah, original Mickey Mouse is supposed to. But yeah, yeah. See, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if Disney tries to pull something. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, another caddy video, Demonic World of Disney PS One games. Let's go. Are you ready for the shenanigans? Oh. Oh. Are you yeah. ready to see? Hey, have you seen my shoes? They're not answering my texts. <gasps> if the Candy, neighbors are all right. Are you grooming? <laughs> yep. Ah, thought so. No, you didn't. I. Oh fuck. Sorry. Mm. <clears throat> Leave. But I have like twenty Disney games for the PlayStation. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. Disney, oh my fucking Disney, 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 holy shit! Up, Disney. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> oh. Disney, nah, Disney, Disney's got a lot D of Frost, bodies buried. Disney. What put on to Mickey Mouse? Who doesn't know those three round circles? There because there's yep. other kinds of circles. Holy fuck. I mean, you see them and immediately you know what they are and what they represent. They're more popular than Good Morning Cat. Whatever your opinions Good on the Morning Walter Cat. Disney Corporation are, I don't think any of us can deny the quality and impact of most of their movies from the animated classics lineup. From Snow White all the way to Chicken Little, they're all perfect and you will never be. <laughs> Disney started with a single eight minute cartoon in 1928 and now they own the entire as much as many honestly of us love no their movies, wait a one minute thing in honestly he's not that far off he's not that far off disney is trying to own the entire fucking planet let's let's not even joke around about this seriously disney disney is trying to own everything they can gobble up they're not even hiding it that's the thing they're not even trying to be sneaky about it like they know they know they're on top they don't give a fuck. Killer doesn't get discussed all that often. They're video games. And no, I'm not talking about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and this oh is a huge my shame God. because there are some great <laughs> ones out there, especially for the biggest console available during Disney's height of popularity in their own renaissance, the PS1. And I'm not talking about the Pixar Disney games that are remembered more fondly. Nah. I'm talking about uh -oh. the old school, original Disney animation only ones. And in fact, back in the ugly deep pause of my past, I looked at a few of these I'm not on surprised, this channel. Yomi. I don't recommend you going back to these videos at all. I was in a dark place, but for a brief summary, <laughs> these PS1 Disney games have surprised me, such as Donald Duck's Quack Attack, or as I like to call it, Quack Bandicoot. It's a fun enough platforming game where Bandicoot. you control Ronald Ruckus as you run and jump through tricky levels, collect milkshakes to make Donald piss himself, and pick a long wooden <laughs> Stick to shove up Donald's <laughs> and who Holy can forget the jungle fuckery. book groove party? I did. It's Dance Dance Revolution, but you get to play as Baloo the Bear, and Lou Bega is in it, looking like he wants to traffic me. But with the good mostly oh. came the bad, leading to forgotten messes such as Tarzan. Ah, a Tarzan. where you play as a noseless butternut squash having a dance okay, with see. a killer <laughs> See, I had this one. I had this one. I played this one, and I vaguely remember it. I don't know if I ever finished it though. I might have though. Cause I just I remember it so vividly in certain parts. And then a lot of it's blocked out. I <laughs> and every jump and attack is delayed. You have a knife that is absolutely useless against anything except for other humans because this game is rated for three to ten fatal stabbings. And whenever you press circle, Tarzan has post-traumatic flashbacks to his days in the Korean War. There's a reason it's bombed out, yeah. Then there's Aladdin in Nazira's Revenge. Who's Nazira? 
a woman. And this game <gasps> sucks too, with a horrid a camera, woman. stiff controls, combat that's slower than extracting alert. oil, carpet riding that has checkpoints that spawn you directly into pillars, Checkpoint. Ah! Aladdin running around with cleavage on his back, and Princess <laughs> Jasmine the, on a skateboard. Not the back and this cleave. save screen makes me feel like I've been touched in my bad place. I can show you my ass. And who can oh, forget Simba's what? mighty adventure based off of The Loin King, where you play through a load of beige scenes from the movie while Timon leaves his browser history open. Bumba, try to sit on me. And Mufasa still <laughs> talks to you even after being killed in a stampede. <laughs> You must learn the delicate balance of the circle of life. Terrible controls that feel like you're driving Simba instead of moving him. A raw attack that simply doesn't work. Sometimes you can pull yourself up ledges and sometimes you can't. And help me, Uncle Scar, I got stuck in the wall! <laughs> <laughs> then there's party time with Winnie the Dump. A Mario Party ripoff where you Winnie pick up dip. fruit, drive around in circles for three hours, yeah, pull unlimited bananas any of these. from the back of your feet, and the game doesn't let you play as Eeyore because everyone left him behind in the Wicker Man. And who oh, can forget no. the worst name for a game of all time? Disney's action game featuring Hercules. One of the prettiest Wait, PS1 games you could get at the it's time. It's literally called Action Game featuring Hercules. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. I don't. Uh but also one of the hardest to control and even see what you're doing. What can you stand on? Who can hurt you? Who's just in the background? Where did that come from? Are you an enemy or a friend? How did they get the real life Danny yeah, DeVito the only into one... a character model? But these 20 other ones here? The only one so far I've recognized played and played has been Tarzan. And now a car because I broke them all. And get ready to <laughs> join in with everyone's favorite Disney character, Mickey Mouse, as we take a look at the first game, Leo had a and PS1? Ronin Crab. Phoenix. <laughs> okay, fine, yes, I already did a video on this game too, but Christ alive, that was nearly 10 years ago. I was 17. Don't watch that. No, yeah, I had a lot less hair. <laughs> It's disgusting, I'm disgusting, and if you like it, you're a predator. <laughs> if you're British, enjoy this weather. If you're British, enjoy this weather. Anyway, I'm done waiting. I'm not a bus passenger. So let's take I a love quick him just roasting to himself. Stitch, trouble in. What am I going to expect here then? Uh a whole lot of hula hula. Well, you should have said earlier. Oh, my Not favorite. That. Disney interspecies relationships. Well, so far, I'm pretty confused. Where's the trouble here? Leela looks pretty happy, and Stitch is sitting around waiting to be serviced. Oh, all right, there's the trouble. It's on the disc. Lilo's gonna drown. Hey, I'm Not that. Better. Well, hey, check this out. I found a gallery in the main menu, and that's my favorite place because it lets us watch a scene where Princess Jasmine seriously considers sleeping with a dog. And then thinks about sleeping with Stitch instead. Hello, my name is Red Cheesy, and welcome to your paradise getaway for the week. Hawaii. World famous for its beautiful volcanoes, luscious greenery, towering ocean waves, and f human fish. What the hell did they do to Nani here? Yeah, she looks like poor a stick Nani. of celery. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I walked forward. Oh, okay. I'm starting to remember this now. This is a crash. Listen, Bandicoot that's an achievement, clone. all right? And back then on my first video, I must have had a bad case of AVGNitis just looking for things to complain about because, to be honest, I think this is a good entry level crash game. It controls really well. The music is really catchy and relaxing. Lilo can handle volatile explosives. It's great for kids. She can also Honestly, do a move called yeah. a bum bash, which is simply unacceptable. What did homeless people ever do to her? So let's read it into something totally innocent that I think everyone can get behind. The backstory the we clones need. Drop. And you may I think that sounds a bit disgusting, but hey, I'm not the one that programmed a wispy fart cloud to come out every time you use it. The levels here aren't too badly made, especially for a kid's game. There's plenty of enemies and obstacles, tight life or death platforming, and giant sentient rock monsters that just what? live in the town throwing fireballs at everyone. It's what a good the thing fuck? I can beat them off with my broom. But how does one protect themselves in this beautiful forest full of man-eating plants and pigs? <laughs> Why? <laughs> By using... <laughs> Voodoo, of course. The weapon oh, of choice course. for a little Hawaiian girl. Black magic. Yeah. Well, it must be pretty you know. powerful stuff since it gives Lilo the greatest Tau special goes. attack of all time. <laughs> Summoning a giant pink man to sit on you. And if you think that's bad, <laughs> you also get to control Stitch in this game, and he has his own unique levels where he comes across the worst obstacles imaginable. Giant stone blocks of himself. Stitch can do everything Lilo does, but also a gross spit attack that looks as wet as I feel, and a spin attack just like <laughs> Rayman. He can't attack women though. Stitch is woke. You can't forget to mention the biggest <laughs> no. difference between him and Lilo though. His coffee meter, or as my 17-year-old called it. Stitch also has an ape shitter meter. 
Yeah, that's what the manual says. Yeah, that's what the manual says. When he collects <laughs> enough coffee, Stitch gets off his hind legs. Is he just, just going to continue story, roasting himself in this one? <laughs> Come on, get more! Because once you do that, you can roll into a ball and become totally invincible for a few seconds. The game even teaches you how to cope with real life problems, such as how to deal with bullies by challenging them to a race and forcing them to drive into TNT. But yeah, I haven't got much to complain about here, aside from the bosses, if you can even call them that. So well done, Lilo and Stitch, Trouble in Phil Collins. You're a new, underrated PS1 kids game classic, right next to... Stuart Little 2. Oh my god. Bonjour, small person. No. It's me, your favorite man who leaves his hair in your soup sandwich. And today, <laughs> and today we are cooking... Rats with help from my new recipe book, My Disney Kitchen. Oh, fuck. My book is flat. Yes, My Disney Kitchen, which on its own sounds like a total nightmare right out of the gate. What does it mean if your kitchen is a Disney kitchen? <laughs> oh. Believe it or not, this PS1 game what? was exclusive to Japan and America. The UK never got it, but that's probably because the only cuisine we have are room temperature water and mushy peas. However, Listen, I do so happen he said to have it, a region not me, PS2, but so I agree. I have no excuses. <laughs> Let's check it out. Just before we start, though, I need to say that the cover art is very problematic. If Stitch was so much of a feminist he couldn't even touch a woman, Mickey is the stark opposite. <laughs> Minnie oh, is the Jesus busy one, working the toaster, pouring the milk, flipping the pancakes and mixing the batter, while Mickey just sits there like a gluttonous bigot waiting to be fed. Oh, Mickey, are you happy with your orange juice? Make me a sandwich, bitch! Okay, no, here Jesus we go. Christ. My Disney kitchen. And the E in that the kitchen is slightly really wonky, so we must be in for a crazy time. Oh, look, there's Minnie. And what a surprise, she's going for the cheese. Honestly, I didn't know what to think about anything going on here, so I left it too long on the title screen, which led me to a demo video. And the very first first thing that popped up were the words heavy cream. <gasps> what an adorable house. I don't like this. Why are they looking inside my house? Is this the purge? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> age mother of Mary, they broke in and their voices aren't right. <laughs> we'd be happy to run to the grocery store Wait. for you. <laughs> and we'd be happy to, to drop by. Oh, oh my Lord, God. So a role play, are we? Well, a little bit of role you play. to tell me how your day went and I pretend to care. Why is the toaster not plugged in? Why is the kitchen table photo realistic? Why are the words my Disney kitchen posted completely straight while the frame that they're on is at an angle. Why do I have a sensual Mickey portrait on the wall? Why is the mouse cursor so slow even with the speed button held down? Why is it even called a mouse when it doesn't look anything like Michael? Please. <laughs> just, just do it. Oh, look, I found the fridge. And yes, I even found the world famous heavy cream. But more disturbingly, the tomato puree was right next to it. This is starting to sound like a bad time of the month. So we can pick up any ingredients we want and put them down again. That's good. But what can I do with this pasta? What? What do you mean I can't put pasta in the teapot? This is my kitchen and in my I'm sorry. I'm I just have to say like before we continue watching this train wreck of a game. Who was actually being who who was wanting this? Who was being entertained by this type of gameplay? Like I need to know. Like I know kids at least you'd hope it'd be. But it's like... Are they young enough to where they can barely hold a controller? Or were there like some kids that were old enough to realize this is shit, but they liked it anyway? I need, I need to know. I need to know if someone grew up liking this shit. I need to know. What's the demographic on this? <laughs> My damn kitchen, we boil the shit out of lasagna in the kettle! Okay, fine, we'll do it properly then. Grandparents being conned into getting kids' gifts. <laughs> and an orange, chocolate syrup, and a pickle. Brilliant, supper will be ready in no time flat. Unfortunately, oh, though, lovely. you can't put ice cream in it. Because that's going too far. There we go, it's all heated through. Time to put it on the table for Mickey and Minnie to eat. They'll be fine. Rats will eat anything. <gasps> oh no, rain. It's an omen. Why won't Mickey and Minnie come and try my delicious slop? They told me to put things on the table to eat them, and I just put things on the table, you miserable bins. How dare you not try my cooking? 
I'm a master baker! Okay, so clearly, if you want to play no, this game, I you can't. need to have a basic understanding of cooking. This is not a free-for-all. This is not about having fun. It's a game for parents trying to turn their four-year-old into a housewife. You need to know what tools to use <laughs> oh, where, no. what ingredients go together, oh, no. what to do with what ingredient in what order. If you like cooking, then congratulations. You gotta because start that's all them young. You gotta, and I gotta make it. them realize. It's far too much effort for me to go through to make fake food They're that gonna I be miserable and like, cooking for people they want to murder for the rest bar. of their life. Mice family to eat my stew. This is Walt Disney, not Hell's Kitchen. The lamb sauce. Okay, game fine. The you lamb sauce. I, I, I didn't mean it. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to try this. <laughs> okay. No. Stop. Oh, can't even get the oh, into the orange. Ah. Ugh. No, at least cook it. No. That's good enough for Mickey Mouse. Oh, okay, no. my mistake. I was too busy learning how to domesticate my children with cooking lessons to Phoenix, remember you that you hit, need to play. You got hit hard with that one. The sounds and the just silly me. Yeah. Mickey, if you don't shut up, you're going in the curry. Well, I couldn't figure out how to put all of my other ingredients into a single bowl. So instead, you can have a pickle on a plate. I call it Le Pickle Platy. And it comes with a knife when you want to end it all. Annoyingly, though, even after all of <laughs> fancy, this, they fancy. still don't want to eat you have a cousin my food. That used they refuse to go like that? near a single you lonely For pickle sake. without me putting actual food from the recipe book on the table first. Okay, fair enough, whatever. So I look up how to make a cake, head for the oven to make it, sort the batter out, bake it in the oven, and burn it. So now it looks like human waste. Let's put Donald's Lovely. face on it. Lovely. Yeah, there we go. Looks about right. Donald's dump. That cake Donald's dump. <laughs> Eat up, kids. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, oh, Eat that delicious, dump, delicious. Donald. Oh, boy. Just wait until Donald hears about the time we ate his feces. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> feces. Poo. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, oh. oh for fuck's sake. Oh. 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 The drama. Oh. oh. Ah! Ooh, <laughs> oh, this, I, I feel very good. But how will I cover the medical expenses? Hello, I'm Spons! <laughs> there it is. Hello? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a game called Genshin Impact? It's an open world action no, RPG I've never heard of it. PC, iPhone, and devices, Have PS4, heard of a and even PS5. Game called Genshin Impact? Them, Step into a sprawling magical world on the continent of Teyvat. Have you ever heard of that? Elemental powers I've never heard of it. Is it a tiny indie game? To make them bend around your whim. They have very kindly Is it itty bitty indie today, game? Just in time for their version <laughs> 2.0 update, including the new map, Imazuma Muzumuza Muzumuzumu. Along with new characters, quests, weapons, items, stories, puzzles, and much more. The main quest itself has a plethora of travelers to pick from. You're all never ending supply of Husbandos, Phoenix. Explore. And there's so much goodness to take in, I can't never handle ending. it, and I usually pass out. Even better, if you're not up for a lonely quest all by your lonesome, once you reach adventure level 16, you even unlock a simultaneous four-player co-op mode that works across every system for every version of the game, allowing for even more elemental combat variety, more ways to explore, and more friends, because let's be real, you need some. You'd better head to the link in the description <laughs> right now and download the game, though, because they're updating it constantly, even some brand new characters to play with, including the new obtainable characters Yoimiya, a pyrotechnician with such a hairy back she can make bats out of it, and Sayu, a small ninja that either has a tail money. or is sitting on the comfiest <laughs> Beanbag I ever did see. And this is see, Phoenix, you need to start Inazuma streaming region, more. You need to start making some videos. Quest, you get sponsored by Genshin weapons, Impact, they'll the throw all the husbandos at you. Oh, come on, you want to stay in the bathroom for a few more minutes too long, right? Then Genshin Impact is the game for you. <laughs> you Genshin Impact is sponsoring today's video and get the game in the description right now. I'm cold. <laughs> well. Where was I? Oh yes, Pooh! Did you know that Winnie <laughs> the Pooh had a surprising amount of PlayStation titles? No. But I do know that there was a point-and-click Winnie the Pooh education game oh for really God. young kids on the PlayStation. So let's jump on eBay and see what we can find.
I can't afford these <laughs> what prices. The fuck? I'm not a locksmith. Why in the free range beef is this so much money? Would you <laughs> rather take your kid to a private school or pay for Winnie the Pooh as a teacher? Because it more or less costs the same. Furthermore, it's not even in my language. I'm not paying £300 for Winnie the Pooh educativi. What other Disney PS1 games can I look at instead? Oh. Apparently, one is a Disney game. Wait, what? You forgot, didn't you? What? <laughs> I've got a region free PS2. So I can play Winnie the Pooh Kindergarten instead. Yay, let's go on an adventure with Winnie Bear and Kinder Eggs. Oh, bother. I just laid that. Well, I will say one <laughs> thing about this title screen. Winnie can't wait to start going to school. You look exactly how I feel. We've got a menu here with lots of different mini games to see. And I am not a fan at all of all this jittering. Why is the game doing this? I'm not trying to find out if my kids got epilepsy. I'm trying to make them spell yak. I need to get away from this not right now. What? It's really hurting my eyes. So let's start off with Pooh's thoughtful spot. You might want to check that it isn't malignant. Move here to choose the sky. There's a cream for and that. over here to choose the ground. Oh, okay. Understood. I'm basically God, and this is where God lives. Welcome to the Forest of Tar. Next up is Rue's number balloons, and this is where it starts getting hard. You click on the balloons to pop them, and then click on the number of balloons that you saw. Slow down! I, my my I don't... tummy's having motions. You're the best yeah, I, I don't have. know if I can keep up with that. How many do you know? Have you been having an affair? Let's check out people's <laughs> mix and match. It's a music game. You pick two instruments to Did mix you get together. A copy and of this, have a toot. Xylophone and bagpipes together at last. Oh, what in the abomination? Tigger's treasure hunt. Here's a grid. Here's a children's character that rhymes with a slur. And here's how far away you are from the treasure. Apparently, I'm only five spaces away, but Oops. <laughs> no matter which five spaces I take, uh -oh. I can never seem to uh -oh. find the right Oops. place to uh -oh. go. Oops. This is the easy mode. How am I doing this so wrong? Am I four? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, hang on. Wait a second. That doesn't say five spaces. It says S for south. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit shape sorting is next, and maybe we can help Christopher Robin with his homework. I think Rabbit has had a drink, and this, this is the hardest one yet. You pick up the shapes and move them to the same shapes. Gopher, what did you do? And the final mini game is Owl's Workshop, where you match the correct words to the correct beginning letter, which is just as fun as you can imagine. But what's even better is the way that you Owl says You did have this, Oh, no. Zebra, goat, mouse, ant, orange. Oh, my, my. I hope that goat doesn't eat poop. Yep, so do I. Okay, right. I can hear all of you right now from where I live. Cads, this is the Dark Souls of education games. Isn't there an easier one for me? Yes, there is. <laughs> yeah, oh, if Winnie no. the Pooh Kindergarten was too heavy for you, then you may want to check out Winnie the Pooh Preschool. Pre, as in before school. Instead of a child eagerly learning their ABCs, we're a dumb toddler wandering around aimlessly while singing Chinky Winky did a stinky. <laughs> if Kindergarten was rated <laughs> EC for early childhood, then this game should be re-rated to F for fetus. That's how young we're talking here. I can't wait to play with Horse Noise the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, to be fair, this one is totally different from Kindergarten. For starters, it has way more cartoon cutscenes in between each minigame, and there's an actual story you're working towards, the games are different, the main menu is different. So far, I actually prefer it. If you're a crinkler, you might enjoy this. Every minigame here gets an announcement too. Yeah, that's Tigger just wild to think here. about Kinder right now, you know what I mean? Piglet's house. Owl's it's like house. all the stuff house and garden. a lot for of Eel. family members sold over the because years. Because he finally did it. Of games and Piglet's game consoles and before shit. I get there, I'll do a long neon wee on his house. Piglet's house just puts you in a painting <laughs> minigame. And I'm not joking when I say this, but the first like canvas if, if I was given him was today of the and you sold him today, it'd be, Even back in 1999, you'd have, you'd they have couple, knew. So let's more get than a couple painting. zeros in I your account. I call this one the sepsis bear. I call this one the punished glutton. I call this one the honey is not fresh, mother. I call <laughs> this one... Oh, demon, where did the sky go? Do you think when Piglet grows up, he'll be called Pig? Next up, we're going to see Owl, and all we need to do is match up the pictures that are exactly the same. This picture is already where it should be. What are you talking about? They aren't the same. He's down here. Why are you wrong? You're corrupting our youth. Tigger's house is next, <laughs> where we have to choose an instrument to put into a machine that plays the instrument. 
and that's that all you do. Here's what I came up with. <laughs> Oh off to see Rabbit God. next, and hopefully he's sober this time. <laughs> you couldn't possibly help me. I mean, really. Well, screw you, asshole. I'm leaving. Would you help me can these... Nah, nah, no. You don't get to do that. You lost your chance two minutes ago, Rabbi. Piss off to <laughs> shut down and get shot. Oh, fuck. So let's head off to Pooh's house next. I walk in the front door, and I end up in Kingdom Hearts 2. You All we need <laughs> yeah. to do is finish the stories with the correct start, middles, or endings. There once was a strawberry... Christopher Robin ate the strawberry, and then the sun liked Christopher Robin. There once was an egg. <laughs> the egg started to hatch, and out popped a killer bee. A tree was dead. It began to rain, and it turned into a loaf of bread. Yep, I'm done here. Let's check out Kanga's house instead. <laughs> Rue and I were just making some alphabet soup. Perhaps our friend can help with the helping too. Please stop looking at me. Ooh. 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 See these missing letters oh, here? God. We've got to find them. That's it. That's the best alphabet soup I ever saw. Are you mentally ill? Your mother's soup has an entire block of cheese, tofu, a cube of human flesh, a dropping from rabbit, and a cigar in it. So with that, let's end well, things I off mean... with the final area, Eeyore's birthday party. And that's all he deserves. Either way, wow. I'm done with <laughs> wow. these kinds of games for a long time. I already did an entire video about baby games, and I do not wish to live through any of that ever again. They're games for babies. What do you expect? Who wants to sit there all on their own playing boring and easy baby games when you can sit there all on your own and watch Bear in the Big Blue Waffle? As such, 102 <laughs> Dalmatians on the PlayStation, because 101 children wasn't enough, and they just had to push one more out. And before anything else happens, we need to address the elephant in the room. This this is the most revolting thing I've ever seen in my life. Is it Cruella de Vil or Michael Jackson? Nah, I don't no, mind too much because I really no, like the why disc is it actually at least. It's really cute. It's Wait. almost like I cut off a slice of a cow and stuck it in the PS2. This menu, though, no, I don't like this at all. All of these spots forming in the background make me feel like I'm coming down with bronchitis. Hey, Domino, what's this? I found a Skeletor action figure. Ruined. Ah, oh my good god of grapes. I was wrong. That's not Michael Jackson. It's the Tin Man. Cruella looks absolutely horrendous. Why does she have the head shape of a can of beans? Oh, look, dipstick. What did you just call me? It's coming on the TV right now. What is? My dipstick? What can no. we do, darling? I'll you tell have you this what one, Yomi? Oh, grab shit. I'll Cruella and shove her in my triangular whistle hole. The voice acting in this <laughs> triangular scene, I mean, whistle it's perfect. Hole. It can't be improved. Not even Barry Bilton can make it better. Just <laughs> listen to how the TV news reporter is cut off to carry on the story. Scotland Yard is now on the case and... I just can't believe it. I haven't seen a story told this well since the last season of Slot. My favorite bit, Slot. though, is right here when Pongo realizes that Cruella Slot. is stealing puppies again. And there's an amazing dramatic zoom into his wife. It's that horrid Cruella de Vil up to her old tricks. Would you believe that 102 <laughs> Dalmatians is a Spyro clone? Because it is. Look at it. You run around, jump around, collect items, bark at enemies like breathing fire. It's Spyro. Granted, it's Spyro for five-year-olds. Yeah, so, so far I've noticed ease. it's like the Disney games, the ones like these, are basically just uh, really quick cash grabs. You can tell just on the Disney name. And they're just copying other famous or uh, more popular genres and just slapping Disney shit on it. So far, that's what I've gotten. It, it's either boring, boring shit, or it's boring, but also copy and paste from something else. I mean, just look at these enemies here. Nemesis missed leg day. You even need to find a set amount of valuable items to unlock more areas. But instead of orbs or dragon eggs, it's your siblings. <laughs> All right. You're welcome, prick. This game does have a very <laughs> special feature in it, though, and it's known as the VOM camera, so named because whenever you move, it makes the you vom? vom. Not only does oh. it follow every single move you do like a cult, including flying as close behind you as possible whenever you jump or fall, but it also can't be adjusted upwards or downwards, only left and right. So I hope you enjoy Secret Diaries of an Upskirt Dog Photographer, and don't you even <laughs> dare think about switching puppies. Just look at this. Who thought this was oh a good God. idea? It's giving me bile duct leakage. In fact, no.
I changed my mind. This is the best idea I've ever seen. I think every single game used to make you throw up on the side of a shop window every uh. time you change your mind. I mean, who needs $400 VR when you can spend as little as $20 to turn your PS1 from gray to beige with your own mouth? Something here that did make me laugh though wow. is the destruction of these toy enemies. I don't know why, but they make the most violent sound in the whole I game. I can see how that makes someone sick, fire bro. Off into the distance like the Hindenburg. I can see it. I don't know why, it just tickles me. <laughs> All of a sudden, no! we're sucked into a giant logo. Okay. And then we're greeted with this thing. Hate. All I know is hate. I am Sergeant Tibbs. Then we get inside this toy factory. <laughs> and lo and behold, <laughs> now the camera Tibbs. is too far up. I couldn't handle it anymore when I got to Cruella de Vil Pinball. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Because all that happens is you get bounced around all of Cruella's bouncy lumps. Forever and ever, you can never stop. Uh, no one knows when you go, or where you go, or where are you going, or when you stop. Who, who knows where you're going? I don't know where you're going. It, it doesn't matter. You can't oh, get out of uh... I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> From staring up inside the gallbladder of a puppy to the spinning character switching to the Cruella pinball bouncing, I think I'm gonna spew. Just stop everything right now. Oh, look. The game is paused. So let's move on to the game based on the sequel, 101 Dalmatians 2. Wait, where did the other Dalmatian go? Did they get hungry? 101 Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians 2, 102 Dalmatians, which should really be 101 Dalmatians 3, 102 Dalmatians 2, which should either be 103 Dalmatians or 101 Dalmatians 4. Caddy, what are you doing? Waterboarding. <laughs> oh no! So yeah, 101 Dalmatians 2, or Look as it's more what commonly Disney's known, done. Tell Me Tyner, Alf Kleinen. Fart is another US exclusive Never PS1 game, believe it or not. Level yourself and that's either. even more uh, confusing when you consider the subtitle of this game is Patches London uh, Adventure. <sighs> But London never got it. And that's because the Queen didn't like PlayStation since she could never beat Devil in Tekken 2. No. <laughs> I drive a car! <laughs> Behold, I one believe and all, it. the magic of 2003 <laughs> PS1 games. Still images with absolutely no voice acting. Can you believe that this game already loses to Dalmatians 3? <laughs> In this game, you control Patch, first name Nicotine, in a 2.5D <laughs> platformer, but you have a sniffing button. Oh, and every time you sniff, something comes out of the top of Patch's head. I think it's the parasite that's giving him that face. <laughs> this is a game where absolutely nothing happens in the first level, and then absolutely everything happens in the second. Nope, I'm not kidding. Just look at my footage for level one. You're basically just walking around while avoiding steamed dumplings dressed as policemen. And then the game suddenly turns into an isometric top-down exploration game game starring a literal son of a bitch. It's like Zelda, except you have no map, no clue where you are or where you're going because everything looks identical, projectiles that fire at you from off screen, what the limp fuck? and floppy controls that don't let you aim properly. You know what? I thought you were called Patch because of your eye, but now I know it's because your mother should have left you as a stain on the floor. And that is oh, all I can no. say about 202 One Dalmatians 2 Skid Marks London Adventure. Thanks for not giving us this game, America, because you got London all wrong. People throwing shit at you for no reason at all, the streets all looking the same same, the police chasing you down for no other reason than because they're bored. Real London's worse than that. And when we're fed up with the <laughs> land, we drown ourselves in the sea. All thanks to what? The Little Mermaid 2. <laughs> the Little escalated. Mermaid 1 was apparently not game-worthy enough, but the second movie was just gagging for it. We were having a bad hair day. If we were, you wouldn't be helping. I want this on my PlayStation! As you can see from my footage <laughs> right now, though, this is indeed brand new, still sealed, in the original Sony PlayStation plastic wrap that it came with when it was first on the shelves. This game has not oh. been touched, and it was the most oh. expensive game I bought for this video because of that. And that's fine. All I've got to do is be really careful with it. I don't need to open it or anything. Hell, I can always use an emulator. Just motherfucking destroys it. Intuitive, <laughs> non-violent gameplay. Not it. Yeah, so here we yeah, are. This a, I, I was not expecting him to like, just be nice about it. Like I, I was expecting you. Honestly, I wouldn't have been surprised if he just like shat out a flamethrower and then went outside with it and for all the horrified neighbors to see set it on fire and then take a dump on it like honestly i wouldn't have been surprised i'm just saying first loading screen and sebastian just looks sad and lost i'm not feeling too confident right now flounder <laughs> have you seen my aerial yeah 
I've been washing my spandex with it. Oh my complete. god. Oh, well done, game. Breaking the fourth wall. Standing ovation. Very subversive. You're just like Bubsy 3D. Aren't these game designers wonderful? Sebastian has some of my favorite <laughs> lines in the whole game, though. He's so funny. Like this one. I'm organizing the royal gala for your father. Collect the coins for the fun. Did I just commit a hate crime? So the game begins and this um, old slag won't well... let me get past without her bloody comb because she can't be asked to find it herself. Fine, whatever. <laughs> I've got nothing better to do. I'll look for it myself. <laughs> and what begins as a simple quest to find a comb for a woman <clears throat> turns into a game of you needing to fix everyone's problems with everything. To start with, you've got to find another a comb. Another caddy video where he's the orchestra killing me when I'm taking a sip of water. Sebastian first. So you go to the left to see the king after finding the comb at the furthest left point of the level and he needs to find a gold ring that's gone missing. So you go all the way back to the furthest right of the level to give the cow her comb back and then get a key for a chest in the king's room. <laughs> the if you cow. start exploring further to the right, a palace guard will tell you that no one is able to leave unless the king gets his special sodding ring back, which means going all the way back to the furthest left point of the level to open the chest and get a magic bag, which for some reason triggers Sebastian to appear on the right hand side of the level and fix the orchestra oh. where we find the king's ring stuck inside a tuba, meaning going back so to the far left of the level I'm... to give it back to him so we can swim. Okay, all the way back. so far from what I'm getting through from all this in this game is that apparently she's the only one that can do fuck all in this game. Everybody else is is a lazy ass who can't do anything for themselves. Like I'm just expecting the level where she has to literally wipe their asses because they just can't be bothered. Back to the furthest right end of the level in order to get past the guard. Why am I fixing all of your problems? Leave me alone. I'm a pretty mermaid, not a prime minister. <laughs> and I'd love to say that the rest of the game improves after that obvious railroaded tutorial. But this is why she oh, left. Man, it doesn't. Are you sure that non-violent? The guy was just a, 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 a convenient stage, excuse. You swim around boring and tiny levels, barely able to move anywhere, even when you should be able to. And you just find random shit lying on the floor that you collect and then use immediately on other shit that's right next to where the original shit was laying. And don't forget about the hidden items, even though they're not that hidden at all because they're usually in the same path as just making it to the end of the level. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think they cut off my feet? Plus, it's <laughs> extremely hard to see where the hell you're even going because the camera is too close to Ariel's breeds. You can't make out what's just part of the background, what's a path you're allowed to go on, and even what's able to hurt you. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Thanks so much, Mrs. Vagilus. Attack me with a crab in the background that's not even touching me. Whoa, what? There's a shark. What? There's a shark that's trying to eat me but you said there was no violence what do you call this sharks are ah, totally ah, non-violent where, where do i go i don't know ah, no, I that's got a shark eaten. hug oh, don't mistake. you know no, we didn't we got spat out oh, oh, <laughs> okay it's there she up. is hello and then the game just quits itself and boots me back to the main menu hey ariel do you know what my favorite meal is fish and chips Right, so as it turns oh out, in this totally my... non-violent video game where you get swallowed Yo. by sharks, every single time you die, including just then, even though I clearly got spat out perfectly alive, you get immediately thrown through a loading screen to get back to the main menu, and then have to go through another loading screen to load the level up again from scratch without any items collected every single time. Oh, so if you're collecting no. anything, I'm going off to the next level. And now we're in a burning shipwreck and have a short Throw time limit to save a drowning prince. No. But don't worry. No violence. And then after about 15 minutes, we're in a boss fight against Ursula. Honestly, Ursula. I could go for some later, fish and chips as well, Yomi. And we've saved the day. No laugh. All thanks to the it's little been a while. mermaid with a big penis. So I guess that's all we <laughs> get for the first movie, because now we're suddenly controlling a child. It must be Ariel's daughter, I guess. But since she is indeed a child, that means she's even slower than Ariel and can't even attack. Not only that, but she also needs air. Otherwise, she'll suffocate. No violence. In fact, why can't you breathe underwater? You're the daughter of a mermaid. Have you got the lungs of Wheezy? <laughs> Five seconds later, we die, and then my great aunt pops up, and then we're back at the main menu all over again. No thanks, I'm done. Ella and the ginger finger. Oh boy, what a funny little character. <laughs> Are you about to give me a game? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm a man. Okay then. Uh Ready? What the fuck is happening? Can I have it? No, you can't. This is Walt Disney World <laughs> Quest Magical Racing Tour. What Possibly the, fuck? the worst title of a game I've ever seen next to Golf Magazine presents 36 Great Holes starring Fred Couples. We've had platformers, <laughs> we've had side-scrolling <laughs> action, we've these had names? point and clicks, and now we've got a kart racer. So maybe this one will stick you out go. for the right reasons. Time to pick my language, I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I'm French. Aha, uh -huh. Bon Jovi. Okay, well, the game bon doesn't Jovi. start all that good Shut because out. Jesus is oh peeping. God. What is going on with Chip and Dale down here? Dale looks like Nosferatu and Chip has camel toe. Well, hello there. Ooh, the howdy. And today, I have a tale for you. <laughs> Okay, apparently <laughs> Rattlesnake Dale wasn't scary enough for the kids because now we have this overly animated withered old peanut with a full set of human teeth. He is absolutely disgusting. Hello there, Ricketts the name. I've got Ricketts. Nice to meet you, Jiminy. Lovely. And my name is... Suck. But luckily that isn't because Suck. the game itself sucks. Far nice. from it. It's the best I've played so far for this video. <clears throat> well, most of the time. Well, the bar is kind of low. everything you need for a kart racer. You've got power-ups, drifting with drift boosting, but specifically for hairpin turns. You can tap jump to make sudden sharp turns over and over again to keep your speed up. There's loads of shortcuts and alternate routes. And there's even some shortcuts that can only be activated once yeah, per I'm lap sorry. by you needing to drive it's, through all of these loops it's here. A, it's, it's a racing game. And I, again, copied and pasted from from other popular series no doubt no doubt but if you find a way to screw up something this simple this simple you just you just need to quit you just need to stop because it's literally just racing game make it disney make it semi-fun and entertaining and you know a little less broken it's it it's easy just it's a racing game oh my god yeah square i square needs to get their act together I, the right I just, place. even the entire idea maybe, of the game itself uh, is great god. its pre-title is walt disney world quest for a reason <laughs> because all of the racetracks are based off of disney world rides and attractions with the races themselves throwing tons of nods and references to what you see in the parks and rides themselves pirates of the caribbean space mountain rock and roller coaster thunder mountain haunted mansion most of the big ones are all here and it's really cool to race through them then to make it even better after you've picked your yeah, disney square I think that nobody thinks they're like, like Otto ahead of the game, or but they're just Oliver Chickley the third. Every race they're... track actually mm. changes the vehicle you're driving to match mm. the theme square. of the track that you're square, on. Square, Whether square, you're square. using a train in Thunder Mountain or a rocket ship in Space Mountain, it's details like that I have a right fit over. And they even use some <laughs> of the classic Disney World background music for some of these race tracks. But then you run into those kinds of issues where for every good thing you find, there's unfortunately a catch. The track designs are interesting, but you'll often get clipped to the edges of walls. The shortcuts are plentiful, but sometimes you'll break the game and be told that you're going the wrong way when you're clearly following the arrows. And then there's stuff that outright confuses me. Why would they include all of these different vehicle types, but then not give zombie Grandpa Donald and all of his friends their own stats for costs and benefits to make the races more interesting and the racers stick out more? This game yeah, also came see. out after CTR and Diddy Kong Racing. Would it have killed them to have a drive around hub world where you actually go and explore Disney World itself? And what about the slowdown? Oh, see, boy. this could have get too heated. It this could have been like dying animatronic of Geppetto. The biggest problem with this game, though, one of the is big that it's hits, just not that special. Yeah, it's functional. It could have like been a tracks. big hit. But they just but slapped really it together. I can say about put it. the it's Disney standard on there as a kiddie cart racer goes. Not much depth to it whatsoever. But Disney Story Studio Mulan, on the other hand, now what this, is with these fucking this titles? Is what I, call I a can't. Video game. Why is there a hairy circle? My name is <laughs> um Bra. I don't know. What do you want from me? This is a game Bra. from the animated yeah. storybook series of Disney games. Interactive moving slideshows that retell the Disney movie that Are you, you wearing your bra, and that bra? allows you to mess around with each chapter as you go on with mini games and pointing and clicking on Pumbas. <laughs> 24 odd years ago, I actually had one of these on my old and it was of 101 Dalmatians. I had a computer like that. As a kid, I adored this game. And for a point and click that just tells you the story of the movie, it does its job extremely well with minimal mental scars. I also had my eye on that lady's Dalmatian. Oh my God. The only one of these games that made the leap from PC to PS1 though was Mullen. Watermelon. <laughs> Does that no. mean that this was the best one? No. And that they needed to put it on as many platforms as possible? I have a pair of leggings. What do you think? To be fair though, this is just exactly the same as the other ones available on the PC. It's a retelling of Disney's Mulan. Except you make it move along, choose your own words for the story like Summoned, Challenged, Dared. Play a minigame every so often, and click around on absolutely everything to see what happens. 
You can slap a skinny man. You can make a cat wet. You can scroll through a few words at a million miles an hour. <laughs> you can dress up Mulan to make her look like a homeless woman in a towel. You can make Mushu laugh. <laughs> but don't make Mushu laugh. You can start a snowball fight. <laughs> Just... And you can even send oh off an endless supply of prearranged wives off to a miserable future. Seriously, this never stops. Where are all these women coming from? Family. Family, where you kiss your mum and your dad, but we wish Granny would just die already. <laughs> Mulan arrived at the army camp. She had trouble fitting in with the other soldiers. Well, I bet they didn't have any trouble fitting in her. <laughs> oh my God, no. For serenity no. For Mulan. Okay, no sweat. A please would be nice, but I don't want you to break my nose, so I'll go and get it for you. No, it's the green apple I need. Jesus, sorry. I want you to get a pendant for balance for Mulan. Aha, gotcha. Easy peasy. No, I need the purple and yellow pendant. Uh... Jade beads, bring them to me after you've found them. Now, step. Fine, I'm on it. No, no, I... Oh, shut up, you smelly old bat. You know I'd be able to do all of this if you told me what you actually wanted first. Don't blame me for guessing and stop staring at me like a bulldog chewing on a wasp. I need to take a bath and get dressed. So why don't you? Do you need help? The matchmaker awaits you. Yes, dressmaker. I cannot wait to get dressed before taking a bath in my new dress. I yeah, hope she... I make a beautiful bride. Well, you better quickly give birth to one then. The most important thing to me though is that they even included the first best Disney song of all time. <laughs> I mean, do you want an animated and interactive storybook of Disney's Mulan? Then play the animated interactive storybook of Disney's Mulan. It does what it says on the tid, so leave me alone. Hmm, I think I know how to do this now. Yes, so do I. Have a brush. Oh. There's someone at the door, Gromit. I wonder who that could be. Hello. Oh my god, it's Chris Chan. I'm <laughs> Goku. Wow, the real one from Disney? It's only a matter of time. What are you doing here? <laughs> you bastard. Can Ominous. He, he yeah, this is accurate so far. Accurate. I can smell Atlantis the Lost Empire in there. The movie Atlantis <laughs> looks really good and has good characters. Yep. What a perfect film to base a video game on. So how do you turn the most forgettable unvideo gamey movie of all yeah, time? Yeah, I did like the movie. I do remember. Game? Let's find out right like now by going to the special features. Don't remember there being a game though. Don't think. I'm going. The game starts up and we're forced into an extremely basic tutorial. Yeah. And I don't... when I say basic. Very good. I really mean basic. <laughs> We're playing Simon Says with an old man. Hey, yeah, I don't remember like this me? being a game. <laughs> hey there, young man. Do you remember how to look? This is how you look. And unfortunately, the main game doesn't get any less basic. This here yeah, I heard is an about the horrible adventure sequel thing. game I never watched the sequel. Elements, I watched swapping the characters around to do certain tasks because stronger characters like Vinny and Milo can push objects. Women can't push things. You know what this reminds me of? Resident Which Evil. Which is ironic because they push them babies. Donkey Kong 64. It feels like Resident Evil with all the item collecting, examining, manually combining things together in the inventory, and then manually using them on the right objects in the environment directly from your inventory without it happening automatically. That's stuff I can appreciate, but it feels like Donkey Kong 64 with the sheer amount of backtracking and character swapping in order to get back to one particular obstacle that one character can clear, carrying on a little bit, finding another obstacle that another character has to interact with. So oh yeah, see that doesn't make no fucking sense. This little scrawny white boy over here, it, the engineer lady was like, she had some muscle. I know it's been a while since I watched the movie, but wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that don't make no sense. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Backtracking to another character swap station, passing that original obstruction. Yeah, she was literally later pushing his level, skinny ass out of the way. Station and repeating it until your little noodle arms. And all of this She's is like, annoying move, enough, but it bitch. starts to affect just basic moving along too, because some of the characters that should be able to do some things can't do them in specific situations when they can every other time. So the game has been designed to make me second guess absolutely everything I do. Have I got the wrong character for this situation? Is it even possible to do this with any character? Or is the game just a whiff? Some wooden crates can be blown up, but some can't. Some Grabbing platforming can be done with one character, but some can't. Sometimes you have chronic heart pain, but sometimes you don't. 
Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Sometimes you don't! Not only that, but some character-specific <laughs> items need to be interacted with by standing in a very specific area of the item that you're trying to interact with. And not only would you need to figure out that location to begin with by just pressing action all over the place until you get a message, but then you need to make sure you've got the right character equipped to interact with it, meaning more backtracking to a character switching station and then heading back again. And that's even if the characters are available, because most of the time, they can't be accessed from that particular station, and you've got to go even further back to find the right station to oh, switch this out. Other than that, though, annoying. there's not much to say. Just like the movie. It looks fine. It's not absolutely terrible, but it won't make me keep my hands below the blanket. Ugh, come on. Can't we get a good game for a change? Is that too much to yeah. ask? How about this one? Yeah. Oh. Honestly, just watch the Why? first movie because and that's it. The Empress New Groove is the funniest Disney movie, so the game might be just as good. Oh. Uh... Yeah, all right. Thanks, honey. You know what? My girlfriend and me couldn't be any more on the same wavelength, I swear. We know each other so well that we even finish each other's... What? Now, like I said, <laughs> I've never played this game before until now. But as far as Disney PS1 games go, whenever you bring them up in casual conversation, don't worry, we've all been there. I've heard that this one is apparently one of the better ones, which I wouldn't be able to tell from the menu screen because what is that? And why is there a face? So many wide? iconic well, actually, moments I can see from his Emperor's face. New Groove. He left it on the roof. And perhaps that face should have stayed there because, oh lord, his face came back and I am not happy with any of it. What is with these mouth animations? It looks like he's chewing on Gandhi's sandal. But let's get down to brass tacks. Ow. Is this game as good as everyone remembers it being? Yes. I was pleasantly surprised <laughs> by this one, I will be honest. I couldn't tell you why the hell they decided to make a comedy road trip movie into a video game. Now we have one that's not a, a complete well, abomination. But those crazy bastards did it. It's another Spyro clone like the Dalmatians game, but it's way better designed. It looks better, it feels better, there's more ways to move, more ways to unlock collectibles, more tense and interesting platforming. Sure, it's more linear it doesn't and a make you want to vomit constantly. For a game about controlling a llama, you can do a lot The bar worse. is low, y'all. <laughs> The bar is low. I would love to, little boy, but I'm a bit too confused by you. You've got the feet of hair combs and the body of a seal. And just like the movie, the <laughs> game is pretty funny sometimes. You've broken my toy llama again. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Bad, Bruh. Bad. Just don't charge around by the tree, okay? I mean, check out that walking animation. It's so good. How can you not love it? There's also the timed obstacle challenges while you charge, sliding races, aiming and shooting games, but with spit. What is it with Disney and Flem? There's even a stealth segment where you need <laughs> someone, to keep moving someone forward has while a king hiding for behind that. obstacles every time your that. target decides to turn around. I'm a secret agent. But this lady, though, woof. What happened to her? What's her name? Um, what? What? Eczema? Yeah, eczema. She looks pretty bad. Not... She's so filthy, even her breast milk has expired. Do you know what else Stop. expired? Don't be disrespecting her. The dinosaurs. The Don't box isn't lying. Her. The game is called Dinosaur, and there are dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Uh, mm, monkey. And before we get to the <laughs> actual game, I really do just need to bring attention to the worst piece of shit picture of a dinosaur I've ever seen in my life on the back of this box. What is up with this? Did their printer break? <gasps> oh, look. Big grub. I love Big Grub. Enough joshing, though. Let's sit down and play some Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Or we can open oh, up shit. the encyclopedia <laughs> instead. Yes, I've always wanted to play a game to study. And would you look at that? How interesting is this? It's so interesting, in fact, that the game couldn't handle itself and broke. The information text randomly disappeared entirely. And now I can't quit this mode and go back to the main menu. All I can do now is scroll through a load of depressing, lonely dinosaurs with no friends. And I'm not surprised. Who'd want to be friends with that? Eventually, though, <laughs> the game completely stopped reading my inputs altogether, and now I'm stuck staring at lemurs having a shit in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stop! Oh well, at least we get to see Big Grub again. And here is the game. Okay, where the hell do I start? The game opens up with a 35 second scene of a pterodactyl flying over an island and nothing else happens. You can't control it, you can't skip it, you just have to sit there and love it. That over raptor is attacking the nest. Well then you better go and save it with your swoop attack. And I don't need to explain anything that's wrong with it. You can just watch the whole process yourself. <laughs> Oh my god. 
We save the egg and put it down safely on another part of the island. Great! At which point it immediately <laughs> hatches, and this is where it begins to never shut up. <laughs> At which point you're suddenly controlling a monkey and he likes to make this noise every single time he attacks. <coughs> but you can't do that for too long because after a few seconds you get another... So off we go to find some fruit hanging in specific trees. And while I'm doing this, no less than three times in a row, the game decides to throw the crying little mistake at me. Which is very annoying, don't get me wrong, but at least it isn't as bad as... Look at how slow we're moving here and we can't go any faster. In a game about looking around a giant island for things, isn't this fun? Oh, look! Look, an enemy. Time to attack it. Great, so I've been doing it all throughout the game so far, and when I finally need to actually use it, it doesn't work. Oh, dear. And that's great, because what I was looking for isn't even here, so I better move off back to the left. Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Another fossil! Attack! Attack! Die! What? No! I better start again, then. I'll have a look. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. This is the same 35-second intro with no way to skip it, isn't it? Oh yes, it no. Is. Okay, no, I'm done with this defecation. Yeah, I would have just. Right, now, what's next? Please, it has to be good. Surely, there can't oh, be any no. more half baked, doughy splats of Disney games on PS1. Surely, there has to be a classic out there that's hiding for. Well. Mickey's Wild Adventure. Hey, I remember this. Did you guys ever play Mickey Mania on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis? It was a 2D <laughs> Mickey Mouse platformer from 1994, and two years later in 1996, it got an enhanced PlayStation version with much better music and prettier graphics. I, I never played the original, but this version in particular I remember borrowing from my cousin many times. Just this box art alone is making me revert back to a kid again. Super nostalgic. And speaking of the box, I this game is so confident that it doesn't even this. list any features on the back of it, or mention that it's a remaster. It's that full of itself that it thinks it can sell you on the screenshots alone <laughs> and to be totally fair to it yep it deserves to sell itself on the still images and nothing else because this is easily one of my favorite looking ps1 I games i do not remember this one time. either the whole concept of the game is that you control modern mickey mouse traveling through a handful of his classic cartoon history to help out his past self and then moving on wow, to the next we've cartoon. gone through all these and, and i think the tarzan one's still the only one i've actually the played Willy stage gradually changing or even from knew black about and white to color the further you get to the I was just fighting in the background of Moose I was Hunters. just literally it just fires on all cylinders giving the cold the shoulder to all the these fucking Disney games. <laughs> I and said, the way fuck it off. uses the PS1's power to mix 3D objects into the hand-drawn style looks really good as well. It's really like they're trying to bridge the gap between a traditional 2D animation and 3D video game and make it seem as though the game aspects are breaking through the cinema screen to give past Mickey shit for modern Mickey to help him out with. And it never feels gimmicky. This is PS1 2.5D done perfectly. The game is really simple to play too. All you do is run, jump, duck, and collect marbles to throw. If you have any marbles that Mickey didn't lose himself after being married to this whore. So compensating for the easy Whoa. controls, I suppose, they decided to make the game brutal. I mean, God, you start noticing things even on the first stage, Steamboat Willie. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. The platforms what? are often oh never my God. quite low enough for you to make jumps. Oh. You can't throw marbles one after each other that oh. quickly. And even if you do manage to fire off two pretty quickly, the second hit usually doesn't oh. count against an enemy, and things will attack you from off screen all the time. However, all in all, it's pretty easy. But after that comes stage two, the Mad Doctor. And Mad is certainly right, because this is where the game switches things into asshole gear. It begins immediately <laughs> with bats that you don't have much time to react to if you don't already know they're coming. Then there's these skeletons that hurt you enough on their own, but also explode on death into multiple bones, a few of which can hurt you, and they blast off into random directions that are impossible to predict or work around based on what else the level is asking you to do, so they will inevitably hit you like Boop. Then there's more bats that suddenly appear from off screen like Boop. And an extremely fast minecart riding section that gives you barely enough time to react to saw blades like Oop. and don't forget you need to jump to attack flying enemies that are coming towards you but if you do jump next to a rope you'll automatically grab the rope and fly yourself all over the damn place often back into other danger like Oop. I lost all three <laughs> lives on. that I had on stage two and I couldn't figure out how to earn any more the game is really stingy with health too and that's not a huge deal but you can only take four hits which massively becomes a problem when you get to stage three moose hunters because look Whoa. at all the shit falling from the sky here all the while you need to dodge off screen Whoa. mooses. Following this is a chase sequence where there's a ton Whoa. of obstacles, a turn that's slower than a recycling truck, and a jump <laughs> like you're on bloody Saturn. And after that, it just keeps going. Stage four, the lonesome ghosts, picky jump collision detection, Whoa. a tiny field of vision in the dark, absolutely unavoidable Whoa. damage, enemies you can't even kill, even though these ghosts are already dead, but you know what I mean. Whoa. 
projectiles <laughs> flying at you from off screen, and it doesn't stop there. Stage five, Mickey and the Beanstalk, where there are butterflies that are nearly impossible to hit, and dragonflies that take up half the damn screen and appear from nowhere while you're platforming across sinking leaves. And if you get a game over, you begin the entire stage all over again, which means, for an example, on stage two, if you lose all of your lives at the last boss level, you need to redo all of the eight mini stages that make up that single. I just love how every time we've watched one of these, uh, every time we've seen one of these caddy videos, like, especially with the video game ones where, uh, it's like, um, it, it's, you know, he's not going to have a good time from the start, but the further we get into the video, the more and more unhinged and just completely losing it caddy gets it's it, mm, mm. also we haven't seen the neighbors in this one yet <laughs> i'm just stage all just wondering over again. just Look wondering where they're playing at. here this overly cautious tippy tapping it's not a fun way to play a tricky platformer and most of the time that didn't even really help me mickey get up there you stupid bratwurst plus the game itself in its box and everything was not one of the cheaper ones to find on ebay so save your monty right Turns now, out he's the neighbor's <laughs> Did you just hit me with this Mickey Mouse disc? Oh, wow, everyone. Look, it's Lusmark. That's L S Mark. Shut up. You're not real. Okay, well, I may not be real, but this is. Goofy's Fun House. More like Goofy's f house. First off, I really God. appreciate him clarifying that this is Disney's Goofy we're talking he about. He made a fake town to not air just for his video. <laughs> Serbian films Goofy. This here's my very own home Taking it to the next home. level over here on Caddy Videos. Where I watch all my favorite home movies. <laughs> What kind of home movies do you film? And here is the game. Uh, Check out this frame rate. Oh boy, isn't this good? Oh, don't worry about that. I just like to skin laugh bears. <laughs> so yes, welcome everybody to Goofy's Fun House, where everything you touch, you make noises from hell happen. <laughs> Essentially, this is a 3D I also saw pointy that, click uh, adventure Ubi game where you find items, put them in other the items. Your case, mouse cursor so... is this gangly moron. You yeah. move Goofy around yeah. this slow even when he's running, and half the stuff you click on nearly kills him. I sure do have a lot of books. It's just a shame I can't read. <laughs> then you eventually find a load of mini games that you need to win in order to collect more items and put them in other items. Yes! I did a win-win! You know what? The name of this game is a incorrect. Win -win. This is definitely not Goofy's Fun House. It's Goofy's Hell House. There's fish and peas on the kitchen table smoking a cigarette, urine in the blender, <laughs> posters of steroid abuse in oh his son's God. bedroom, the walls are made of cheese, the garden is made of anus, Pluto has one singular giant eye, there's crying mannequins, ghosts, and skeletons in the attic. What the? You're kind of... And Goofy himself oh. climbs the stairs like a molester before entering a single door at the top of the stairs that then opens up to a room with an impossible door that suddenly appears with demon magic, which if it was there before should lead him out of thin air, but instead ends up in a bedroom. This is the scariest game I've ever played and I wanted to stop. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? Burr. 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 <laughs> oh, we've been entered into a phone quiz. Ooh, a phone quiz. How fan. Where do you wear a golfing hat? Easy. Legs. How dare you? What do you hit a golf ball with? Easy. Golf cart. How dare you? What room <laughs> is for sleeping in? Easy. The bathroom. <laughs> well, you've clearly never had a heavy night before. Even though you definitely have. Goofy referencing Nintendo. Bowser. You know what? Max isn't home, so I want to snoop around my son's bedroom. Nothing will go wrong there. Oh. Max oh, a secret video no. better take him with me and bash one out. <laughs> I will say oh, though, that after all of this nonsense, you're actually rewarded with full-length classic Goofy short films. There's six of them on the disc, actually. And I've got to admit, that's the best thing in the game. This is a really good reward. Now, where's that? Oh, yeah, see, now that's, that's actually pretty cool. cool. I need it right now. I want to make it bigger. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I oddly got into this one. Yeah, I enjoyed it. 
Does that make me a psychopath? Yeah, because it has Ubisoft on it. In which case, I'm the it. perfect target audience for Tigger's treasure hunt. There's a party, but there's no honey, and we need to find more honey to quench this lump's insatiable hunger. So oh, Tigger heads off to get sake. the honey. Guess it's time to rock it up to space and die, then. It's all very simple, <laughs> and the name of the game tells you all you need to know. It is Tigger's Honey Hunt. Featuring Winnie the Hunt Fecal Matter. That. First off, I really do like this old storybook setup. It's just like it is in the movies. And to give credit, for a 2000 PS1 game, it doesn't look that bad. I even really like those pre-rendered backgrounds that emulate the sketchy hand-drawn style of the original movie. It's cute. And what a nice game this is. You move left and right, jump and duck. That's it. It's so friendly. You explore side-scrolling levels and find items for your friends. That's all you do. <laughs> Tiggers like being the top. You can't even attack enemies <laughs> that hurt you back because in Tigger Winnie the Pooh, confirmed. we don't confront our problems, we run from them. The odd thing though is that despite oh God, all of what that, the fuck this was is that? actually a decent platformer. Specifically for toddlers, I'm aware, but there's a lot more care put into this than your average baby game. Like I just said, there are enemies as well as plenty of hazards with timings to learn. There's a lot of obstacles to platform around, many of the levels branch off into different pathways and non-linear extra areas. You need to explore these areas to find enough honey pots in order to unlock the next levels. And and there's even unlockable new abilities to make the platforming more interesting. I had no clue what to expect going into this game, but it sure wasn't any of this. Blah! Tiggeroth don't like foot fetishes. I mean, I can't be horrible about it because the game isn't horrible. It's not trying to be anything massive. It's just trying to give your kids a nice relaxing side scroller with a bit of challenge and good controls. I don't know what else to say. <gasps> Tigger is the next Tekken fighter. I'm trying to <laughs> that Okay then, Rue, let's see what I can do to help. Oh bloody hell! Well, oh, hello everyone. Sorry, I got bored. You just caught me in the middle of watching the classic rom-com, Four Weddings and a Funnel. But is it as classic <laughs> as the movie that our next game is based on? Treasure Planet? Yeah, you heard me. Treasure Planet is a classic. It's a great movie. You don't know what you're talking about. You're wrong. And that's okay. Not everybody can be right. I did hear through the grapevine, though, that this was also a decent game from people's childhoods. I mean, you guys were right about the Emperor's new groove, so I'm excited. Let's pop it in and have a go with Treasure Plane. Oh boy, this is really cool. Look at this. My copy that I found online actually came with the original sticker set completely oh. untouched and even a mini PS1 catalog uh, for all I, the new- Like, despite the games we've been talking about, I do miss those days when whenever you got a new game and you'd open that case and there'd be actual shit in there. Not only an actual game disc, sometimes with all its own unique art, but a booklet with like shit in it more than just like the controls and stuff like it, it would have like lore and shit it would it would have cheat codes it uh, and then there'd sometimes be extras like maps or uh posters or like this one stickers it's like oh i miss those and i know I know a lot of people was like, oh, oh, you just miss the olden days. Yeah, I miss getting what I paid for. I miss getting shit for a price. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I just had to go on that little mini rant because it's just, it's so sad that that's, that, that's a dying thing. Oh games at the time this takes attorney me games right guide back. had little comics so see that's oh, damn I they got really into LCD it screen. sometimes i've always wanted one and i really should do a video on ps1 accessories at some point they that's weren't not afraid now, the to add is. shit and my controversial opinion on this 20 year old disc that none of you should really care about anymore is it is fine. It is the most fine game I think I've ever played on the PS1. You run around open-ended linear areas, do a platform, swing a stick, shoot a bang bang, collect yeah, Cheerios, you're literally, spend you're literally money paying for more, more for less it's these absolutely days. Absolutely nothing special. More for it's less. It's totally fine. I just genuinely don't know what else to say. It's as standard as they possibly come. Welcome to the Interstellar Union of Miners. Uh... Speaking of miners, I'm pretty sure this guy likes them. Yep, we're looking at Peter Pan now, if you couldn't tell, and his very own video game, Adventures in Neverland, starring Peter 
pancreas. Now, even though I really <laughs> do love the movie, pancreas. Peter himself I've always found to be one of the creepiest and most uncomfortable main characters of all time. He's the boy who never grew up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was just the legal defense of Gary Glitter. And this unease extends from the movie to all over this case and the manual inside it. Firstly, it's entirely written yeah, in comics. See, this sand. is another Secondly, one I don't in the remember. List of Peter's friends, he lists himself. Like, and thirdly, not just one I have useful for one saving I've lost boys. Heard or seen of. Pan. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. My name is Gash. There's a huge treasure hidden in Neverland? Yes, Peter. Didn't you know? Here's a fun fact for you today. In order to actually start playing this game, one? you need to sit through the intro company animations, oh, a loading so screen, hit start to then enter PS1. another loading screen, enter your name, watch a cutscene, enter another loading screen, go to a level select menu, pick your level, and then enter another loading screen. Why is this taking so long? Come on, do something, Pedo Pan. Oh, okay, I take not it back. Now Pedo I wish you didn't Pan. do anything. This is not a good game, Pete. It's a side scroller, except you can fly, which sounds great. But in this game, all that means is fill every level with absolutely nothing because who cares? You'll just fly above it anyway. It's one of the emptiest games I've ever played. What's the point in flying if there's nothing to fly around? At that game, point, you're just moving a mouse okay. cursor on a black screen. It's the best game it is. There's no platforming. <laughs> there's too much space in between hazards. It's just a load of nothing. Even the secret areas are just on your way to your next checkpoint. Hey, you want to know the best place to put a secret area? right next to another secret area. And the first level loves telling you over and over again, whoops, you can't go there yet. Whoops, you can't go there yet. Whoops, you can't go there. Well, at least that isn't as irritating as the amount of loading screens in this game. There's a loading screen for everything. There's a loading screen when you start a level, a loading screen for beating a level, a loading screen for getting back to the menu. These can all last up to 20 seconds every single time, by the way. And considering most of these stages last no longer than a minute or two, you're spending more time looking at Peter having a Wii than actually playing the game he's on the damn cover for. He's the boy who never grew up when well, he must have done at some point because kids don't like sitting around doing nothing for 20 seconds every one minute. <laughs> Here is oh the Oh my combat. god! <laughs> there was the combat. Sometimes you also control wow, Tinkerbell blink and, and you do miss you know it. what you do there? Look up a skirt. No, you fly no. around in a side scroller again, <laughs> except now you only press one button to control her altitude, while once again, nothing else happens. Wait a second, what's this here? Oh. 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 Are we going to the Indian shop? Oh, no. To buy Indians? What is this? 1840? This game has oh. made me so upset that I could... Listen to James no. Bond. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Really? Really? Who is this? It is me. I oh, bloody for fuck's sake. knew it's bloody Walter. Yes, and I want you to God make damn. awful sequels to my classic films for 50 years after I die. But you're already dead. Oops. Well, then you'd better get on with it then. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan in Return to Neverland. He went back! Yes, we've got another US <laughs> exclusive, so if we didn't get it over here, we must have been really offended by it. Maybe Peter finally touched them. No! It's, it's the same game. Are you shitting me? It's the same game. No, no, it's literally the same exact game. Yes, it's the same game as the one I just played, but from another country. It's the same game, but with a burger and a cowboy hat! I just wasted my money. Well... I paid import well... tax on this! for a game called Return to Neverland, when in the country the game came from, he never bloody went there in the first place! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, check it out. It's a boss fight. Yeah. Who can Pretty much. Me? Yes, I think I can. I need to wash the taste <laughs> of that out of my mouth. So how about we close things off with Disney's Magical Tetris Challenge? This is basically if Capcom made a it Tetris battling It was literally just a copy-paste, literally. Characters. What you see <laughs> here is what you get. And you know what? It kind of rules. It's nothing more than Tetris battling, either with a second player or with a short single player story mode, but these battles will test you. They can get surprisingly difficult. It's tense, it controls well, the music slaps, it looks great. I'm happy I picked this one up. The story mode is really weird though, since you have to go through it by helping all of your friends with certain jobs, and the only way that you can help them finish their jobs is by beating them. Hey Donald, <laughs> thanks for helping me out by kicking my ass. Well, that was an anticlimactic way to end.
No yeah, way it's literally enough. just Tetris. If you, so if how they, about we end this video no, properly, see, properly. If they had found a way to literally just fuck up Tetris, there would have been no hope for them. Like the bar is so low with all these fucking games. And again, the only one I recognized and played was fucking Tarzan. I was just me back in the day was just not having it. Like I guess Tarzan. I'm guessing Tarzan, the video game. I, I just was so scarred by it. That I every time I would see like a, a a Disney symbol on a video game, I just blocked it out. Like I couldn't do it. <laughs> Play with Dance Dance Revolution Disney Mix. No, oh, of course. Again, don't I regret recognize every it. decision I've ever made in my life. Once again, we've got another game that explains itself better than I ever could. It's DDR, but with Disney songs. Have you played DDR? Have you heard Disney songs? Then you've already played DDR Disney Mix. It's DDR, Disney, Disney, right? The only thing I guess I need to make clear is that Dance Dance Revolution used Konami to be called of Dancing Dalsium? Stage in the UK Look all those years ago, Konami. but that is about mm. the most complicated thing I will be saying about this game today. It's made by Konami, yeah. it looks like DDR, and that is because it's DDR. Hello, yeah. Caddy, it's me, Baby Yoda from Disney's Star Wars oh, The Mandalorian God. registered trademark now available on Disney Plus. Oh, how cute. Oh. Hello, you're looking very marketable today. Take my <laughs> dance mat so that you can look ha ha funny wunny when you play this game. No. If you don't use it, I will skin your cat and wear it. I mean, yes. We -e 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 -e. Wow. Damn. Get to dancing. This smells like grandma. If you think you're Not interested in this, then all what? you need to do is ask yourself, have you ever wanted to play techno dance remixes of supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, zippity doo -dah, zippity day, or chim chimini chim chimini chim chim chiri, but with your feet? If so, then this will be your favorite game of all time. <laughs> and if you want, you can even play it on the Thrustmaster. What's that? You're not interested in any of these songs? Well, how about It's a Small World? Ducking Hardcore Mix. <laughs> Oh my god! I ended up playing this game so much that I actually got. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I can see like playing this game with when you're like with a group of friends and you're getting like uh drunk or something. You're just hanging out and you're just you just want to do something where you laugh at each other because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> triple a rankings on most of the songs too and yes i'm gonna gloat about that i really enjoyed this game it goes way harder than i ever could have expected and i love it well done for closing <laughs> things off on a good note dancing stage disney mix or as it's known in japan disney's way. in conclusion <laughs> disney have some good ps1 games and disney have some bad ps1 games but most of the time the movies are way better so why would i bother wasting any more time playing worse versions of the movies when i can actually sit here and watch the movies and keep my hands free for please subscribe no oh, can it. <laughs> Damn it follow me on instagram and twitter because you haven't been very good today and i'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself special thank you to all of my executive producers on my patreon well, page in the description below lucifer 1307 starman stubs and as basil blake brown captain Ooh, Demon, Ooh, Sand, Ooh, dave marshall Ooh, and bungo Ooh, 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 five Ooh, eric branke exo Houdini, Heartfire, Inflim, Iron Ninja, Mitchell Reed, Ramen Wolf 1485, Raven Tora, Red Eyed Critic, Skullman, Slow Pop, Tardis Type 40, The Game Shed, The Real King Nathaniels, Troy Tressler, Tudor Apples, Whirlwind Abyss, Flick Joseph, German Boy Remy, Daniel and Alex, Emma Ashton, Zohaba Med, Lord Savior of Light, Harper Onions, Lewis McNamara, and Terrell. Stan. John Lennon is a John Lemon. <laughs> this <laughs> the bombastic side eye. <laughs> I love that puppy's side eye. <laughs> Gets me every time. <clears throat> oh man, another good caddy video. Another good one. Another caddy slowly but surely getting unhinged. But my God, Disney just was not on it was not on it when it came to those games because jesus christ it seems like a, a majority of the ones that were passable average or actually fun were copy paste of other games that were successful so uh, disney being disney i guess disney being disney <laughs>